welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama Sea Bream Puzzle. Which means I'm going to show you the couple of moves that it takes to separate the silver and gold Sea Bream fishes from each other. And then how you can do the reverse to put it back into its original position. Now the Sea Bream Puzzle is a level 1 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale and a level 5 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And if you don't already have the Sea Bream puzzle for yourself, then you can pick it up from our website, puzzlemaster.ca. Without further ado, let's get on with that solution. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled Sea Bream puzzle. And the fully assembled position is essentially the, the silver mouth touching the gold tail, as we are looking at it here. And what we're going to do to solve this one is we're going to keep the silver piece in this position for most of the solution or the separating uh, until we get to the final move but i'll describe that as we get to it so first of all get your silver piece your silver fish in this position and what we're going to do is we're going to feed the gold head and then consequently the gold fin through the middle of the silver fish and obviously here we get to a point where the fin is a little bit Sort of right to left and uh, we just skipped past uh, a little bit of uh, well, what can be quite challenging at certain points so here once we get to this sort of like the last bit of the bent fin if we just try and come straight it won't come through what we need to do is tilt the gold uh, fish to the right hand side and then they uh, the, this thickness will slide past quite easily once we've done that we're going to keep it rotating and then we're going to place it in a position where we are almost mirror in each position or each piece so get your silver fish and gold fish into this position and all we're going to now do is rotate the gold fish anti-clockwise and the silver fish clockwise or in a more simple way we're going to make the fish bow to each other so we get to this position and all we now need to do is turn them rotate them until the point down here where those two fish separate and that is how we disassemble the sea bream puzzle and to reassemble the sea bream puzzle what we need to do is hold both pieces in this position essentially so that they are facing each other like we've got here we'll have to tilt them slightly but what we want is the silver tail is going to go behind the gold tail the silver head is going to go in front of the gold head so that we get into this position here and once we're in the right position, we can then start almost unbowing, if you like. So the gold piece is going to rotate clockwise, the silver piece is going to rotate anti-clockwise, until we're sort of back in this fully connected position. Once we've done that, we're going to orientate it so that the gap between the head and the tail of the silver piece is in a 12 o'clock position, if we're looking down on the clock face. We're going to make it so that the gold piece is a six o'clock position relative to the silver piece and what we're going to then do is essentially rotate it back through the silver piece so again this piece if we try and go if we try and go straight on it's too thick we just need to angle it off to the right hand side slightly and then feed the the fin up here just keep twisting it through the gap and we finish at a point where the the silver head is kissing if you like the uh, the gold tail and that is how we fully reassemble the Sea Bream puzzle. So there it is. That is how you disassemble and then reassemble the Hanayama Sea Bream puzzle. Finding that final sort of turn or bow and unbow as I sort of described them as we were doing it can be a little bit tricky to start with. But, but once you find it through trial and error or just sort of changing around the positions it's relatively straightforward to, to repeat once you've done it once and hopefully this has helped you solve the sea bream puzzle for yourself if you want to pick up more puzzles just like the sea bream puzzle then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world and until next time i will see you later <laughs>